Hello everybody, my name is Benjamin Blue and welcome back for another video and today I'm going to address something that I get asked about um, quite a bit and that is the kind of cost and the effect of doing YouTube and being a vlogger and having a channel um, on my pocket and on my life and on relationships with others. So um, probably not one or two, maybe three days goes by without a one comment popping up in one of the videos. Man, how do you afford to go to all of these games? Or man, you must have an understanding missus because you must be away all the time. Or I don't know how many miles you've done this season. Or um, some variant of how much does it cost how much time does it take and how do you manage to do it? So I'm going to address that today with a few um, little stats and little numbers um, that I've tried to concoct based on my YouTube output for the 2018-19 season. So you've probably heard me refer to it. Um, I did count up towards the end of the season and I've done a proper count now, but... Last season, I went to 78 games, which um, is quite ludicrous. Um, if anyone in the comments went to more than 78 games, let me know. But you would think um, probably anyone with half a brain wouldn't do that. And I would suspect I'm in the top 0.01% of people who don't work in football to have seen as much football, you know, analytics people or scouts or you know, whoever. Um, but yeah, that does seem an absurd amount of games. I'm kind of proud of it. And what I did manage to do was make this handy little um, montage of um, the start of every single review. And um, don't worry, I've got it playing in super speed. So here comes 78 games in 25 seconds or something. Go. There you go, so um, the hair gets a little bit longer, the shirt changes, and one thing you notice is it's invariably dark or it's invariably raining. Um, so look, 78 games basically breaks down like this. So that was 70 games, regular just championship games, as you know I'm a championship vlogger. Two FA Cup games, look I support Ipswich, and Ipswich haven't got beyond the third round in... 10 years or something ridiculous, another another of the ludicrous stats of following Ipswich. Um, so, you know, basically you get one FA Cup game a season with Ipswich and it's a defeat. I did also go to Brentford and Barnet um, in the FA Cup, which was a pleasure. I went to four playoff semi-finals and I went to the League One playoff final and the Championship playoff final. So that adds up to the 78 games. Um, so I added this up. Normal time, I saw 7,020 minutes of football. Let's say five minutes stoppage time per game, which it wasn't, but it's more. It's normally one, one or two minutes first half and four or five minutes second half. So we'll call that 390 minutes. Um, there was 30 minutes extra time. I saw at West Brom in the playoff semi-final second leg against Villa. We won't count the penalties. So I'm coming out at about 7,500 minutes of football that I paid to watch last season. 7,440 minutes. I bet it's more than that, but I don't want to be an exaggerator. So um, yeah, we'll, we'll come out at, at that total and I'm not nerdy enough to actually literally add it up. Um, 194 goals I saw. I don't know what that is. Two point something per game. It's about standard, isn't it? Um, Here's the one that people ask about a lot though. So travel, and yeah, this is a nightmare. Um, I have got a fairly newish car. I've got a 16 plate 
car, which I'm still going to be paying for for another three years, so I hope I don't destroy it. Um, I am used to travelling um, in a former life and my current life. Um, I've been a professional musician and you just go anywhere, wherever the money pays, that's where you go. Arrange it, get your, get your fuel paid for and off you go. So um, it doesn't bother me travelling. I quite enjoy listening to a podcast on the way. But um, I added up, basically I've lived in three different places as well this season. So I took every game, I went on, there's a useful website actually, I typed in the three addresses and I added it all up. And drum roll please, it came out, and this figure won't be 100% right, again I don't want to be accused of making it up, because some days I went from work and sometimes I did manage to go from one game to another. Some game I, I would have gone further because I got diverted or I went a different route. Some days I had to do something and then go to a game, so I can't. I don't have the time to get an actual 100% accurate total, but 14,498 miles. So I guess that's America and back a few times over the course of the season. So, so far, let's call it 7,500 minutes and 14,500 miles doing this. Um, I visited 23 out of the 24 championship stadiums. Sorry, Middlesbrough, just managed to avoid it just too far. And when Ipswich went there, it was that weird game where it's December the 28th. And you've done Christmas, you've done Boxing Day, you've settled down, you have the 27th and you're like, oh my God, there's football again tomorrow. And I was just like, I can't, I can't do it. Sorry, I'm going to stay home that day and build a jigsaw puzzle. Um, Managed to get to Barnet and Accrington, which is absolutely bloody miles as well, and Wembley as well. So what is that? 26 grounds across the season. But what you really want to know is the money, isn't it? How the hell much does this cost me? Don't worry, I do have a job. I work in a school four days a week. I play piano and sing at restaurants and bars at the weekend, and I teach piano as well. So don't worry, there is some money coming in for me to pay for this. So, 78 games. Again, I'm being conservative here. Let's say 25 quid a ticket. And I know you people watching know that I do get the odd freebie. I'm not going to say no to a freebie ticket from whatever channel. Um, But also, come on. You think you think it's twenty five quid to get into Leeds or Norwich um, or Villa? It's more than that, isn't it? Come on! And I, to be fair, I do like to sit on the halfway line, so I'm often um, in the higher price tickets. Anyway, that's my choice. I'm not moaning about it. But playoff finals—they're like sixty quid, aren't they? So um, I think twenty five quid is a conservative estimate. So let's go seventy eight games times twenty five quid per ticket. That is God. £1,950. So these are all coming out nice round numbers, aren't they? Let's call that two grand. Um, And let's conservatively say that I don't put my foot down. My car does use diesel. Let's call it 20p per mile. Don't know how accurate that would be. I think that would be low as well. Um, £2,899.60. So we could round that to three grand. We could round the tickets up to two grand. Basically, travel and tickets, five grand I spent. My God, that's ridiculous. Imagine what you could buy for five grand. Imagine the holiday you could have for five grand. But hey, I love it. I get some fun out of it. Um, So look, that was the cost in um, money and time to me. Obviously, there's the effort of doing all the YouTube videos, but... Again, I love that. And um, my relationship is good. I don't have any children. That would obviously make things a little bit different. So um, I am cognizant. Um, I take my missus with me where I can. Obviously, I don't expect her to come to, I don't know, Preston v Derby on a Friday night that ended nil-nil. And we try and make up the time elsewhere um, by me being a... A good partner, I hope. But yes, to all the people that ask, she's very understanding. I'm trying to persuade to get her on more videos. She's quite funny as well. Um, let's talk actual um, numbers in football terms. Who did I see the most? Obviously, 
I'm an Ipswich fan. 35 times I saw Ipswich last season. Um, the other ones, 12 times I saw Leeds United. Obviously, everyone watching knows that if you work in TV, you put Leeds on, you get ratings, you get money. Um, I don't have any problem with that at all. If I worked in Sky TV, I would put Leeds on loads of times. So my spare game on a Friday or whenever, yeah, it's Leeds a lot. It is what it is, to quote all the contestants of Love Island at the moment. And um, yeah, I saw Leeds 12 times. I saw Villa and Derby 11 times. Obviously, with Leeds, that's two playoff games. With Villa and Derby, I saw them both three times in the last two weeks of the season as well, because both playoff semis and then the final as well. 10 times West Brom again, two playoffs in there. 10 times Sheffield United. So it did shake out the top teams. I hear you Norwich fans saying, I think it was eight times Norwich as well. Um, what I will say is, and I think this gives credibility to my channel, is so 35 games Ipswich, I saw 43 games as a neutral. Um, so I really hope that makes you think this guy is a credible YouTuber. He's watched that many games sitting completely unbiased and neutral, not favouring one team or the other. Try it. Because I bet there's fans that watch this channel that don't ever watch a neutral game in the person. Try it. Whatever your local team is, whatever league they're in, go and watch them. Go and watch as a neutral. Go and buy a ticket for um, a championship or even a Premier League game if you can afford it. It's an interesting experience. Who did I see win the most? Well, I mean, imagine this. This is totally ridiculous because if you just got relegated and they only won five games. So... I didn't see Ipswich win the most games, despite seeing them 35 times. It was ridiculous. Aston Villa were my most winning team. I saw them win six times out of the 11 games I saw them play in. Obviously, two right at the end of the season there with the playoff semi, one of the semis and the final. Um, more impressively, I guess, is Norwich. I saw Norwich eight times last season and they won five times. So um, when we're talking win percentages, that is decent. I also saw West Brom win five times as well from 10 games, so 50% for them. I saw Leeds win five times, Sheffield United win five times, and Ipswich win five times as well, but yeah, took them 35 goes to do that. Um, who lost the least? 10 unbeaten teams, but we've got to go back to Norwich, most impressively. Eight times, five wins, three losses. Norwich never lost when I saw them, although they barely lost all season anyway, didn't they? Um, who did I see lose the most? Obviously, Ipswich lost 18 times in my 35 trips. They did draw a few, I guess, didn't they? Um, and for those who believe in the Benjamin Bloom Leeds United curse, second most losing team, insane because they finished third, was Leeds. I saw Leeds lose seven times in 12 games. I mean, this was... Me going to top of the table clashes at the end of the season where I think Leeds lost something like nine games from Christmas onwards. Chris Wilder was quite keen to tell us. Fact check me if I'm wrong with that. But yeah, seven times. Which player did I see score the most? Um, you won't be surprised to hear that it wasn't an Ipswich fan. An Ipswich fan, an Ipswich player, excuse me. Um, I saw two players score six times. I saw Tammy Abraham score six times times um, in 12 well I saw Villa 11 games I don't know if Abraham even played all of those um, I saw Timu Puki score six times and the most that can be is eight games as well so he's got to be um, my most scoring player Neil Mopai I saw score five times for Brentford impressive stuff Mario Vrancic is a midfielder and barely starts the game I think we worked this out I saw him play for 300 minutes and score five times I saw Kimar Roof score five times I saw dear old Freddie Sears score five times, but that probably, I know he bust his cruciate ligament, but that probably took him 20-odd games as opposed to, um, you know, seven or eight that it took these other guys. I saw Lukas Jukovic score four times. Billy Sharp score four times, although I did have the pleasure of seeing Billy Sharp score a hat-trick, so that's three in one game. And Guion Edwards of Ipswich score four times. Um, I saw one player get punched by a fan and then saw score a goal, obviously we're talking about... Jack Grealish, and I saw one team let the other team walk in the ball from kickoff. So it's been a fascinating season, but those headline figures, I will say them again 78 games, seven and a half thousand minutes of football, 
nearly 200 goals, 194 goals, 14 and a half thousand miles. And I think I spent five grand watching football. And do you know what? I'm going to try and beat all of those numbers next year because I love it. I love football. I love watching my team. Um, obviously, I've been asked about this a lot. I'm going to get to as many Ipswich games as I can next season. But I am, in YouTube terms, a championship um, vlogger. Obviously, I'm an Ipswich fan for, God, 20-something years and a YouTuber for a couple of years. But So it's going to be a split. Um, for those people who are going to criticise me, um, Ipswich fans... Look at the figures last year. I already did 43 against 35. So it might end up being something like 55 against 20 Ipswich games or something. But it is what it is. That's the second time I've said this in the video. I've got to stop saying that. Um, so those are my figures. Let me know what you think in the comments. Am I a madman? What should my targets be next season? Should I be watching less football or more football? Um, actually, don't answer that one. Else it all gets a bit depressing, doesn't it? Um, thank you for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, then please do. Um, follow me on Twitter, at Benjamin Bloom. And where are we? What date? June the 13th. Championship fixtures out next week. Any ideas for more content, please get it in the comments. Um, and we'll try and get through the next... Oh, God, it must only be... Five weeks till I finish work, so then probably another two. Probably seven weeks till the season starts. Bring it on. That is what I say. Thank you for watching. Over and out.